How are we doing today, Green Thumbs? My name is Brandon, here with Easy Swap Pots, and I scored big this weekend. Today I wanted to go over how to take some, take in some house plants and some mandatory quarantine that everyone should do no matter what when you're bringing plants in. So, do we want to see the unboxing? Yeah? Alright, excellent. So this weekend I picked up a bunch of succulents and got a great deal on them because it was the middle of winter and let's see what I got. So I know it's really exciting to bring in new plants, but there are a few steps that you must take in order to prevent any kind of problems when bringing in new plants. And that's what we like to call as gardeners is quarantine. And what I like to do is uh, use an insecticide and you wanna spray down the whole entire plant, including the top of the soil as some bugs like to hide on the surface of the soil. And that is good to do for at least a week, doing it every other day and that should help prevent any bringing in any unwanted pests. So I'm gonna start out. In a video that we just did, I showed you how to make your own cheap and effective insect and pesticide spray from the ingredients out of your own cover. Check that out. So I'm gonna take this spray. The nice thing about this is pests can't get resistant to this or build resistance to this spray. So I'm gonna take Adjust it so you're getting a nice fine mist. And I'm gonna start off by spraying all the tops of the plants. And then I'll individually pick them up, spray the insides, and then spray the top of the soil. Now this will reek like rubbing alcohol because it is primarily rubbing alcohol but it won't hurt the plants as it dries super fast. You just wouldn't want to do this in direct sunlight or put them back in direct sunlight until they dry out. Now, as you can see, they're all sprayed. Again, do not put them in direct sunlight until the leaves have surface has dried out and it really shouldn't take too long considering the spray is mostly alcohol. I would do this every other day for at least a week, giving at least three or four sprays and I would try to rotate between two different sprays. Uh, there's plenty of sprays that you can use. Uh, safer insecticide spray, which is a soap-based spray, would work just fine. Um, sulfur sprays, there's all sorts of sprays, really. The one thing is, is that you don't want to use sulfur and oil all in the same rotation because the sulfur and oil will cause a lot of burning of most plants. So there's your tip. There's the unboxing. I got myself 28 new um, succulents and I'm excited to get these planted up and get them growing for the spring season. Thanks again. Stay tuned. Take care and happy gardening. Bye.